this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool rhythmic technique that I guarantee is gonna open up your phrasing and give you some fresh new ideas. Coming up. What's up guys, my name's RJ Ryan Kilio. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to be talking about a rhythmic idea that sounds more intricate than it really is. So if you're stuck in a phrasing rut and you feel like every time you improvise a solo, you play the same old stuff, well, this lesson will hopefully dig you out of that rut. Now, before we get started, if you're into these kinds of lesson videos, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay in the loop and make sure you don't miss anything. Today's lesson is brought to you by Eastwood Guitars and Soundbrenner. Today I'm using my trusty Eastwood Tuxedo uh, in this beautiful copper finish. It's not real copper. No pedals today, I'm just plugged straight into my Sir PT100 amp. Since we're practicing exercises at different tempos, I highly recommend using a metronome, uh, like the one from Soundbrenner that I always use. They also have this really cool wearable device called the Pulse, which gives you a haptic feedback right on your skin. And it's a great tool to really help you feel rhythms. So one of the rhythmic devices that we're gonna talk about today, and I'm not talking electronic rhythm devices, but musically and theoretically speaking, is the use of triplet notes. And for this lesson, we're gonna talk about eighth note triplets in particular. Eighth note triplets, that is, if the beat is one, two, three, four, then the eighth note triplets over it go ba da 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 Now, normally we think of triplets as a group of three notes, but when we fill up an entire measure or two measures full of triplets, eighth note triplets to be exact, we get a larger even number, which is 12. And you can think of it as four clusters of triplets. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now since we have more notes to play around with, instead of thinking it of just groups of three, we can now expand on it and play the triplets, but in different groups, such as two note groupings, four note groupings, and even five note groupings. So let's take the A minor pentatonic that we all know and love so well. First, let me play the familiar triplet rhythm that is the three note groupings that we're used to and I'll just do this descending down the scale starting on the C note on the eighth fret of the high E string. I'm setting the metronome to 75. One, two, three, four. Ascending. So I was just doing that example with uh, three triplet eighth notes per note. And it's pretty kind to the ear, you know, there's nothing too crazy sounding about it. Now if we do two note groupings, it's gonna start to feel a little bit odd, but in a good way. Uh, we're creating more rhythmic tension. Uh, and why is that good? Because it grabs the listener's attention. So tension grabs the listener's attention. Oh, I just thought of that. I'm copywriting that shit right now. Tension grabs the listener's attention. Okay, let's do these two note groupings. You'll see what I mean. Two, three, four. See what I mean? There's a little bit more tension. Uh, a lot of the notes are like anticipatory notes. Is that a word? Anticipatory? Anticipated notes. That's the feel that it's creating. It feels like it's jumping to the next note. Now these first examples, I only played one note per grouping. Uh, but what if we group two different notes? For instance, uh, two notes per string, which for the pentatonic scale is easy because it's all two notes per string, right? Three, four. Other positions. This is a good exercise, actually. So two notes is fairly easy, right? Right. Now we're gonna try it in groups of four notes. So in the same way we learned the two notes, uh, let me play four note groupings over the triplets. Three, four. 
So I had to count out loud uh, so I wouldn't screw it up because it's kind of confusing uh, when you're doing these four notes. So now you can see how much more tension we're creating uh, with four notes. So if it's hard for you to hear the rhythm, let's put that on the guitar for now and let the metronome run and let's just count it out. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. If it helps you to accent the downbeats, which will be, I think, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two. One two three four 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 Get it? Got it? Good. So let's try this with a group of four notes now and I'm just gonna repeat the same four notes over and over again so you can hear it. Three, four. So now it's, now it's starting to sound kind of cool, kind of funky. So as you can hear and see, the phrase repeats every measure. The first note, C, comes back around again on beat one of every measure. So it's fairly easy to get used to. You know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, downbeat. Downbeat. It's got that tension in the middle of the measure, but resolves when the next measure comes around. So you have this tension and release thing happening fairly rapidly. So let's do the same thing in a descending pattern. We'll use this pattern right here. The next one down, the next one down. So we're starting the four note group uh, on the next note down. so on and so forth. Three, four. Just end right there. And if you can hear, I'm kind of accenting the one of every measure so I don't lose my place. Another thing you can do uh, in the metronome is break it down, give you a little more subdivision. You can actually uh, put triplets down over this uh, quarter note pulse to actually help you hear the triplets. Three, four. Which is cool. Let's play around with this a little bit more. I know we've been doing descending down the scale. Uh, let's go ascending and see what it sounds like. Three, four. up a little bit because everything sounds cooler when it's faster right three four this is how it sounds over like a shuffle whatever there but let me try it again so as you can see there's a lot of cool creative stuff that you can do with this another pattern that I like to play that uses four note groupings over triplets is this ascending and descending pattern that just uses the top two strings 
I'm just taking uh, four note groupings on the high E and high B string uh, that are relevant to the A minor pentatonic. So these are actually shapes that would be good to get under your belt and just kind of memorize. I ran out of frets. You may have seen other videos of me playing this pattern as 16th notes, you know. But let's see how it sounds if we play them as triplets. Three, four. You can switch the pattern around. Now we are going to get crazy. We are going to play a five note pattern over triplets. Now five note patterns, even over eighth notes or sixteenth notes sound really cool. For example, let's do a five note pattern over eighth notes. Three, four. It's kind of sounding like Rush. But over triplets, they sound even cooler. I'm gonna knock this down to 95. Two, three, four. Now it sounds like a jazzier version of Rush. Now you're gonna wanna take your time with these because it's easy, even for me, to get lost and turn the beat around. If we did this with the same descending pattern that we did with the four notes, starting the grouping with the next note down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And so, now that's fine and dandy, but instead of the normal pattern of going down like that, we can do it kind of Eric Johnson style and repeat the pattern with the note that's under the pinky or the ring finger, however you play it. So it'll be like this. One, two, three, four, five. And instead of hitting that note, we're gonna go to the pinky note, which is uh, the G. If you've ever seen lessons on the Eric Johnson fives, uh, you know, check out Troy Grady, Robert Baker, Ross Campbell. I'll see if I could play it on here, but it's basically like. It's hard to do that on flat wounds. There we go. And we can do that with the uh, triplet feel that we're talking about. I will show you, and it goes like this. Three, four. Let's break it down just a little bit. Again. Okay, I like that. All right, so let's do this at 90. Two, three, Similar to the four note pattern that we were doing going up and down the neck. Uh, now we just have to add one more note on the third string and it sounds like this. So with triplets, two, Three, four. 
this go faster? Because everything sounds cooler when it's faster, right? Three, four. We can do it ascending the five notes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm just going to play around and play like a little a cappella solo and show you how the triplets sound with two note groupings, uh, four note groupings, and five note groupings. Two, three. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson video. If you did, click that thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments. Share it with your friends, your family. I got nothing today. And if you'd like to see more lesson videos like this, gear demos, tone tips, make sure you click subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!